Now that we have uh, used the bake tool to download and install NS3, we want to configure an, uh, we want to configure Eclipse to run with it because Eclipse is a very good tool, you know, just with highlighting and auto completion and all of that. First, to do this, let's create a C++ project in 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 Eclipse because we need the Eclipse version that runs with that. And let me run this example, like let's say um, NS3 uh, for students. Okay, and I, we don't really care about this because we're not going to use the tools compiler. Basically, we'll use the compiler tools. So this is the the, the compiler tools within the libraries within Linux, and those are used for syntax highlighting and all of that. Well, I will import into this a file system that would be from the bake uh, download. So this is the NS3, this is the bake directory, right? So this is the first thing we did, bake, and then under source, that is the one I will pick because I want everything to be ready with it. And I'll just click here and import it into NS3 for students, which is my, my C++ project. This is done. Now you have NS3 here, and you have the scratch simulator. Uh, you have all everything here. As you can see you have syntax highlighting and all this, you know, uh, auto completion. So I can auto complete here. Sim, I think it was a control space, does it? Yeah, simulator, right? And then, this thing, you know, m m function lookup. So this is very neat tool. So, uh, and that is how we use it. This, this, this really what it does, it, it copies the files into your di directory. So it copies them from that back directory into your new directory. So you have to choose your workspace and you copy things to it. And that's it. That's how you set Eclipse initially. We'll, we'll, we'll do another step where we show how we run programs and how to, uh, you know, uh, uh, run them from here instead of just going back and forth, right? Okay, thank you.